Yes, this toy that defies the laws of physics just arrived. For those who haven't seen this thing, it's blowing up all over social media, this little video of the balls going down this mini roller coaster. How does this work? You put the ball in this little funnel, in this basketball hoop. Actually, it's better not to say that here on Manuel do Mundo, because it's a trigger, right team? And when the ball goes down, it's thrown back into this basket here. I saw several models, some made of wood and such on the internet, and we decided to buy this one because we found out it was for sale. And that's basically it, a plastic base with some poorly welded wires here, looks like a chrome wire that forms this ball track, and it also comes with five balls, which I think are made of steel for us to put up here. Let's see if it works. This thing is really crazy, I've never seen anything like it. We've already made here infinite chocolate, infinite motor, infinite power source, the outlet that lasts forever, and there's always some trickery. Come here. If you're wondering what this perfect ball is, we didn't make this ball. I got it from the civil engineering students at Mawa, and I'm sure they'll like the purpose we're giving it. You know that Nutcracker Ballet? This experiment here is the nose cracker. I'm going to pull the pendulum up to here, touch it to my nose, and now I'm going to stay frozen without moving. I won't budge, one, two, three, and... That's a lot of trust in physics, huh? Do it again just so you can see how close it got. I can feel the wind from the ball. What's the logic behind this experiment here? When I let go of the ball, it will never come back to a point higher than where I released it. Since I'm releasing it right next to my nose when it comes back, it will always come back a little lower than my nose. Because the energy I give it at the moment I let go is enough for it to go up exactly as much as it went down. In the end, it goes up a little less because part of the energy is spent on air resistance, the movement of the string, and so on. So it gradually loses energy. In short, the only way this ball could hit my face would be if I took a step forward or gave it a little push when releasing the ball. But that's not what's happening here. Here, the ball goes down the ramp, then it goes up to a height higher than the starting point where it began to go down the ramp. That would never happen on a roller coaster. This here is a standard roller coaster. See if you agree with me. You get in here at the passenger exchange, that place where those who have already ridden get off and those in line get on. You start going up a steep ramp, it's a rack and pinion, meaning there's a gear with a motor down here which could be on the car but usually isn't. It's something that pulls the car, taking you to the highest point of the roller coaster, where the descent begins. And from there, the car just goes with the flow. It keeps going down, 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 making turns, loops, until it gets back to the passenger exchange. You can notice something. There will never be a point on the roller coaster higher than this one. The start of the descent. Never, never, under any circumstances, unless there's another rack and pinion, another motor along the way. But usually there isn't. On the roller coaster, you're always going down. And when you need to go up again, you'll need help from some external force. Not on this ride, right? It's like a roller coaster that doesn't have a rack and pinion and more. The cart comes back to a point even higher than where it started going down because the ball, when it jumps and comes back, it reaches a height even higher than the start of the descent, which would be the little hole in the funnel. Understand? We found the infinite energy engine. It's time to break the spell. And the first thing I need to tell you guys is that this thing makes a lot of noise. 
We intentionally hadn't shown you this noise yet to keep it fun, but listen to the noise. It seems like there's a bee inside and something is wrong, let's be honest. The second thing is that if it makes noise, you probably guessed there's some kind of electrical power supply here, right? The thing wouldn't make noise out of nowhere if there was only plastic in this structure. So as soon as we opened the box, we immediately noticed there was a USB connection. And to hide this connection, we took the toy apart and put it on top of this box, which can disguise the USB cable that's underneath. So in the end, we have a noisy toy powered by a USB cable. It is starting to be uncovered. Oh, 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 oh. The question now is where is the little secret? Where is the roller coaster's rack? What is the external force acting here to make these little balls gain momentum? My first hypothesis when I saw this thing working on the internet was that it was computer-generated imagery computer graphics, special effects. Someone edit this here and make the little ball jump inside. Later, we thought a lot here at Manuel du Mundo that it could be something a bit cooler, that there was more physics involved in the story. When the little ball was coming down here, it could trigger an electromagnet that pulls the ball. And at the moment it finishes the descent, this electromagnet turns off and it gains much more momentum on the way down and is thrown up here. But as soon as the toy arrived, we found out that it's much, much simpler than that. The first thing is that there's nothing at the base. It's just a little micro USB connection here that's sending 5 volts somewhere. What is that somewhere? If we follow the path of the wires, we find out that there's power running through these two pillars here. So when they go up, they're bringing power into this base and this is where the secret must be. If we look at the little hole, you can already start to notice that there's something strange there. There's a small wheel-like part here. Let's open it. Here's the little secret of infinite energy. It's a ridiculous motor that keeps spinning and pushes the little ball. It's so crappy that it's still held together with masking tape. Way too rough. Let's see this working while it's open. Let's take this engine out of here because I want to check something. So how far does the ball go when there's no engine, when it's just real physics? In fact, perpetual motion, infinite energy engine, a ramp that works forever, Santa Claus. But Ibure, when I saw this thing on the internet, the guy would run his hand underneath and everything. There wasn't that trick you showed. Everything was perfect and it worked. But there are people who really want to believe in Santa Claus, right? So let's go, let's go. Let's replace this USB power supply with batteries. I'm going to solder here and put in a battery holder for three batteries, that will give four and a half volts. USB is five volts, it's pretty much the same thing. Listen to the small sound. Now that's it, just like that annoying guy I saw somewhere. Without any wires. Perfect, no tricks at all. There was no switch on that thing, right? Luckily, I've already lost half the screws, so it's easy to open. I know you must be in the mood to see infinite motors, infinite energy. So it's worth checking out the stealing motor. Some people have already called it infinite energy, but that's not what it is. Still, it's a really cool thing.